Hello there, guys. This is Sony Respiratory Flux. Call me Flux for short, or whatever you want to call me. Well, I don't know why I'm singing all of a sudden. But... Welcome back to more Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. In the last episode, we finished up our business here at the Walled City. Kind of oddly quickly, I'd like to say. Except that we encountered a few. Well, well I'll be honest, one major setback, and that's that I was just <laughs> really derping up the boss fight. But, with, with all that said and done, we have our third spellstone, and we can now return to the surface of the dinosaur planet. And start making our way back to the Volcano Force Point Temple. Yes, I said back. We are going up to the same place we've, we've been to. The King Earthwalker is very grateful, Fox. You saved him from those blood-crazed red eyes. Take this spellstone to the Volcano Force Point. It will close the seal at the volcano, and you will be one step closer to bringing the planet back together. Get to it, Fox. You know the way. Pepper out! Okay, I'm going to probably just read this up in post. Because there are guns at times, and I can't, who doesn't want to see an army fight? Basically, do this for the But, you know, like, what I really have to say right now. That was kind of pathetic, but I'm not really trying for high scores. That's just a little mini game type thing, really. But with that, we've landed back on the surface of the planet. And indeed, Tricky says, let's play. So I shall. We shall. Let's play. <laughs> That's funny. Not really. I don't care. I'm. I have no. No, I'm just. I'm not really all that bland today. I mean, I've recovered somewhat from last night's. I'll play disappointing session. But I mean yeah, there's not a whole lot that terrifically wrong. It's just I don't know. I don't know, it's guess I guess just one of those days. I don't even know. But, with that, we are start heading back to Moon Mountain Pass. I don't know why, but that picture of Fox there on this oxygen meter just always looked like it was weird to me for some reason. I can never place it. And thank you, Tricky, for already being over here. Could you tell me how you got over here so quickly? Maybe we can use that route next time. I don't know. But 
Go back here at Moon Mountain Pass. And that... Uh, that really tense music starts up because we know these barrels are going to be rolling down at us. Even though we killed all the guards here the last time, the barrel machines still activate. They must have some kind of motion sensor or something like that. I don't know. But... You... I'll just ignore, because I already have a moon seed. You really don't use these moon seeds very many places. Ow. I'm on fire. I should probably climb out of that fire. That cost me a lot of health. But anyway, now I'm over that. Once again, can you tell me how you man how the ways you which you managed to get over those things without the dangerous jumping puzzles? That'd be really nice for me to know, possibly, maybe, once in a while. Even if it's something that's too small for me to fit through, it'd be nice just to know, I suppose. Also, now that we have our now that we have our sharp claw disguise, we can use it here. Get yet another useless bathroom dad and some fuel cells. And just because I feel like I'm gonna run up this conveyor belt of doom. Wearing the sharp claw suit. In fact, I'm just gonna keep this on. Nah. Take it off so I can break this and get some health. <laughs> health, is more, health is more important, I guess. Even though I probably lost half of what I picked up there, I'm probably gonna lose the other half while I'm climbing this cliff. Yes. Climbing in this game is incredibly slow. Have I complained about that enough? Like they've got some tougher guards here than last time. But they're not so tough that they just flinching whenever I start hitting them. So once you get them once you get them in a combo, they're really no trouble. Once again, you show the spell stone and it will open for you. Still think that spell stones look like coffins when they're positioned that way. But uh, not who I was trying to swing that at. I mean, the element system is sometimes less helpful than it's meant to be. But, you can't roll all and just go all the way down this cliff face. You have to climb down the entire way because the game lock, locks you into climbing whenever you can. But if it's a steep cliff face and there's there's no reason for you to be jumping off of it, it, it's fine. It'll let you do that. But here, when we were last here, we didn't have moon seeds, did we? But now we do. So let's plant this thing. And there's something up here. Something round. Even. Yes. There's some fuel cells up here. Box with a useless bathroom, Dad. And a cheat token. Serve me 20 scarabs, and I'll give you a cheat token. It blocks you from actually accepting for a little bit, so I actually had to let that thing play. But, you have collected a cheat token, now take it to the maze. And you just dance away in the background. You know what? I don't care about fall damage. I want to try and do this. And I think if you actually roll by hitting X to roll, I know, I'm telling you how to roll this late in the game. I've got some issues, probably. <laughs> But 
if you roll when you hit the ground, you can die full damage. It's kind of like Zelda in that regard. This game bears a lot of comparisons to Zelda sometimes. Not wrongly. But when you go th when you go through the force this force point temple the second time, a lot of the puzzles and the locks and things at the beginning of it, they're all for you. You just have to present the spells in a few places to help you do this. Once again. Um, see this is already done, you can just press A to descend. presented our thing for this one. I think it was that one. So now we must present our spell stone at this lock. And it opens that door. As for how we're gonna reach that, well, I'm afraid it's not quite so simple. This might take a little effort. jump down to some of those platforms. It would be a silly move, but I could probably manage it. But I'm pretty sure there's a place where you're supposed to climb down. Also, this door won't open for you, so you can't just cheap out and take the, uh, take the pathway from earlier. That's where this, this is where that, that way that ends. You have to make your own route once you get to where they branched. That's one way of doing this. I just fell into lava. Took the hit. All of those hits. Um, see, the weird thing is, it's like... All the ways down there were on this end of the thing. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. But that that gets us a single fuel cell. You can uh, I'll just turn it on. But see there's supposed to be a bridge, it looks like. See there's that. There's all those flaming platforms. Again, you got a locked door. Ow. I need to stop falling into that. But, if you look up there, you'll notice, not from this angle, you won't. But, you might notice that the flames on the torches are different colors. But you know, here you see some blue, and green, then red, then yellow as you approach the locked door. There's a reason for this. I'm gonna go ahead and 
with my freeze blast on the Y button for now. But what you're supposed to do is remember the order. Also, I should really not have picked those up, but I couldn't help it. Blue. Then green. Then head back around to the red. And lastly, the yellow. Doing that will unlock the door. We have to put them out in that order or it won't count. So it's slightly trickier than the last time we did this. And all these torches went out too when you did that. So combat. That's only because there's a switch behind it that actually opens the door. Okay, so now... Yes, there's... There's something near. I wonder what it could be. I, is it, could it be that switch you were just sitting on that we don't need to use anymore? I don't know. The AI in this game is weird. But... Speaking of switches... about that um Look at this. I had um I, I felt I had to I had to hold off for a second I was interrupted but stay. once again I'm gonna want Tricky to stay on the switch watch for freeze blaster went pretty smoothly. We have been able to 
was definitely less time consuming than this first time we went around through here, because we only had to go through half of it. But even then, have felt a little less strenuous. Really. You're wondering where we're going. stuff coming out a left the block. Guy. Yes, there's a bad guy. How are you already out here before me? I don't know. Oh, I wish I had my powers of teleporting whenever I was off screen for a second. Nope. I'd rather take the fall damn damage. Or not. But anyway, if you, if you couldn't, couldn't guess from guess, our next goal is, as usual, to head back to the head back to the main area to see what we can do. Since we just returned the spell stone, and as the experiments do music starts playing, because I always have to bring that up. But yes, since we just returned the spell stone, our next task is, is logically to find another Prisoa spirit. Because they like to alternate that, because it makes it flow better, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. But either way, I'm pretty sure we're done in Moon Mountain Pass. Yeah, the Feel Salt Compass can't even find anything. We are just completely done in this place. So let's open up the barrels and hightail it back to Thorntail Hollow and bid this place a. Bond? Farewell? I don't know if I'd go that far. But. Well, we're here and there are some mushrooms. Let's grab some mushrooms here. Well, there's a mushroom at least. That's something. But. And then one last time, head through this little. Placey do thing, hickey stuff, my jigger. Okay, I almost fell to my doom. But that, we are almost back at Thorntail Hollow. So maybe from here we can figure out what our next goal is going to be. Huh? <laughs> 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 